I, I'm not gonna go through all of it again, but yeah, I killed him, and the last time he said, haha, I'm unstoppable, and opened up this portal to hell, so we're gonna go in here. Pick up for every item. Okay, so everything right now should be at full. Which it is, except for my second sword, it looks like. Although, I'll be completely honest, I don't imagine I'll be using that. So, that's fine. Alright. Let's, uh, start with... Gabriel's sword's probably the best one to start with. Let's save here. Let's do a real save. Save three. Can I shoot that attack? Nope. Okay, well, I wasted all of Gabriel's scepter with that. Don't think that was even worth it. Where is this going? Oh. Okay, I'll take it. Alright. Another quick safe ready to go back in. Oh, he can knock you off real fast. How do you dodge an attack that, like, literally homes as fast as you can possibly move? Oh, good, he's flying. Oh good, I killed him first time. Alright, I think I have to... Oh sweet. Save. What's going on? Uh oh. Where'd he go? I got every time he shoots the green one, the bet only way to dodge it is to go inside one of these, so Uh, probably Gabriel's sword. Let's try that. I didn't know they'd send me back here. That's cool. Okay, well, I'm glad I quick save frequently. shooting with this one. That's not the one I wanted. Okay. Okay. Just gotta keep doing this, I guess. I hope his health isn't 
Always attacking with the green attack. Always. Every single time I come in. That's what he's doing. Once again, every single time. No go. Jeez. Almost didn't work. I hope I'm not resetting his health every single time. Oh gosh. This is a bad one from the December 2. I jumped. I really did though. Again with a green attack. It, 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 it's so frustrating because it forces me to do this. Once again, you guys are seeing this, right? Like, I'm not the only one. Just like almost every single time I jump in there, he's right there waiting for me. There we go, finally. Try it with this one. There we go. All oh, the angels are attacking him. Nice. Haha. <laughs> Suck it, Satan. Oh, I'm so happy that happened. Does this hurt me? Looks like it does. Okay, well, I guess I killed Satan. Let's save. Or six, let's name it. The end. Why is it playing bad music for me rescuing him? I'm gonna chop it off. Yeah, that didn't break his ankles at all. Well then, I'm gonna let this play while I do my uh, outro thing. So first of all, <laughs> rating it as a game. Oh boy. Mm. Is it a good game? No. No it is not. It's also an old game though, so maybe it was considered good in its time. I know it, the graphics at its time were actually considered pretty good. I mean, it used the Genesis 3 engine, which I'm not very familiar with, but I know a lot of big name games used it at the time, I guess. Um, I know this team was largely considered the only successful ones who were making Christian games. Um, but even they, I mean, 
due to how they marketed it, which was to try to market it towards Christians, and then also try to have an evangel evangelical message to evangelize. All of that together really just made it difficult for it to succeed because of the... First of all, they have to market to Christians. And now they have to market to only Christians who are okay with video games. And at least in my circles, the very conservative ones, video games weren't even allowed, let alone violent video games, or just video games in general. They had to... Uh, then, of the, the ones that video games was allowed, they had to market towards the ones who were wanting an alternative to secular games, so that's even smaller. And then had to market, not even just in that, but people who were okay with first-person shooters, which is even smaller. And then they kind of had an evangelical message, but it was really cheesy. I mean, you guys saw it. You guys could read that. I actually wasn't paying attention. I feel bad. Anyway. Um, but the impossible awaits. I, I don't know if they're talking, if that's hinting at the sequel. Anyway, so as far as, like, Christian games go, it, it went better than some, and I'll play some other ones that are really horrible, but obviously this is a finite resource, because there aren't very many, to the best of my knowledge. I only played War in Heaven, Saints of Virtue, Catechumen, Ominous Horizons, and then Axis something adventures. So those are the only five that I'm aware of that were actually, like, half-decent games that weren't, like, board, ga board game video games, if that makes any sense. Um, this company only made two games, this one and the second one, and then they went out of business... Because it wasn't a very successful movement, obviously. And, I mean, I myself, the games that they were trying to counteract are the ones that I like to play. I, I do play... Uh, I have played Doom, uh, uh, Quake, um, CSGO, um, sometimes Call of Duty, but that's not really my type of game. But, like, all these first-person shooters that they were trying to provide alternatives for, I play. And, uh, frankly, this is a little cheesy. And I think they probably could have done it if they didn't make it... This is going to sound bad, but if it wasn't so overt, maybe, if they were a little more generic about the influences, then they probably could have marketed towards a secular group, but that wasn't what they wanted to do. They were trying to do what they thought was right, which was to make good Christian games to stand out, and so whether or not you like it, you have to respect that. And all things considered, it wasn't that bad. I mean, you guys saw it. It was cheesy. It was weird, especially the premise. You're shooting from the sword of the spirit, but it's a gun. Um, I mean, it's it obviously really cheesy, but... I thought it was a half decent game. Again, I'm compare. It's an old game, so I can't compare it by today's standards. Even though there's several moments, especially, just really, really irritated me. Um, several glitches, things like that. But all things considered, I didn't think it was a bad game. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think. Was it too cheesy? Was it? What do you guys think? Could they have actually pulled it off if they stuck around? Maybe, maybe there are some differences of opinion. I'd love to discuss it. It was. Very interesting to me, but this, like I said, growing up, the only first-person shooter besides Jedi Knight, I think, that I was allowed to play was this. And my dad was just very selective about games. We played Nintendo. That's pretty much it. We played Zelda, Metroid, Mario, all those games. We didn't really play any shooters, and it took a long time for my dad to be okay with it. This is the only one I really remember being allowed to play, and its sequel. So, anyway, I will play the sequel at some point, but uh, as of the point of this recording, I haven't released any of them. It's Saturday. I'm about to release the first one tomorrow, and I'll have a Sunday recording for everyone since then. I, I'm kind of excited to play these old games. Not Again, not because I think they're great, but just because they're nostalgic for me. I, this, this was the, the type of culture I grew up in. Was This was considered really cool. You know, This was the thing we were like, oh, cool, we got good Christian games. That's great. That's awesome. And yeah, that, that's, that was my culture as a kid. It's obviously changed some now where you know, Mad World was a game on the Wii that I really liked that I'm talking about playing on my other channel. But Oh, no, that is this channel. This isn't the games after the time channel. Just kidding. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, a like or subscribe would be amazing. With that, I'm going to stop. Have a great day. I, Mr. Blubberbutter. We'll see you later.